Welcome back. My name is Eric Limley and this is another video tutorial on uh, color spaces. Uh, today I want to talk about um, ensuring that you have the proper color profile assigned to your images. And in digital capture uh, we need to make sure that our color profiles are consistent from uh, our camera to Photoshop to our printer. And the color profile I want you to use is Adobe RGB 1998. That's going to give us the widest gamut of color range that our monitor is going to be able to, dis to display. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and open up an image. And I'm going to assign sRGB, uh, sRGB to this file and show you what's going to happen when Photoshop encounters a mismatch, a profile mismatch. So we'll open the image. I have Photoshop to always um, display images as Adobe RGB 1998. So when it gets an image that is uh, inconsistent with that, it's going to give me this embedded, mis embedded profile mismatch. And you can understand why. I have Adobe RGB 1998, which is a color profile, assigned to Photoshop and we're trying to open up something that isn't Adobe RGB 1998. Okay, And we have a choice here. We can either choose to keep the embedded profile of sRGB or we can convert this document right now, which is normally what I would do. I would go ahead and convert it to my working space um, or we can discard it. Um, for this purpose I'm going to just say we're going to keep that sRGB We'll say OK. And now, once in Photoshop, we're going to um, convert this. And we can see what color profile we have by coming down here in the lower left-hand corner. And we can display all kinds of information. We can display document size, document dimensions, and etc. You can kind of see here what we have um, as our choices. I'm going to say document profile it's showing that we have sRGB assigned to this image. So now we want to go ahead and convert this document from sRGB to Adobe RGB 1998. And we'll do that by going up under Edit and we'll say Convert to Profile. And this is actually going to change the color space. Alright, so we have our source space and our destination, destination space. So when we click OK, that will go ahead and convert our color spaces. And we'll see down here now that we have an untagged RGB color space. So what Photoshop did was it converted the space. And now we want to go ahead and come up here to edit. And we'll just assign the profile so that it will display as an Adobe RGB 1998 file. So we first convert and then we're going to um, tag it or apply that Adobe RGB 1998 a prof profile to it so that when we open it up um, it will uh, display properly as Adobe RGB 1998. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, I'll be back later with some more video tutorials. Thank you.